Hi everyone, my name is Tommy Ovington and uh, this is a woodworking channel. So if you're unfamiliar with uh, my channel, uh, in this channel what you see is mostly uh, me building musical instruments like full builds or uh, tips and tricks, but also you'll see me uh, build some pretty exciting woodworking projects. So I invite you, if you're uh, interested in those kind of things, to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell. So to get started, uh, my shop is 22 by 22. I've got 20, uh, 12 foot uh, ceiling. I moved here three years ago and I did uh, in 2017 a uh, shop tour, if that's something that interests you. But a lot of things have changed since, so I would like to take you guys around uh, another time to uh, show you uh, the, the new stuff in the shop. So first thing when you get through the door uh, to my uh, double car garage, uh, you have the table. So there's about three feet, uh, which allows me to cut most of the stuff I need to cut usually. Uh, this is a Delta Shopmaster. Uh, this is the kind of the beginning of like the uh, workload that usually is done here for most uh, woodworking projects. But at the same time, uh, my shop being more geared toward Luthery, uh, it's it's not something that I usually get my stuff like done first so I wanted to maximize the amount of space for the rest of the shop and that's why I moved it here if I do have big pieces of sheet good just open the door and then I've got all the, the driveway uh, size to uh, accommodate for the space but other than that like having it close to the door that gives me a lot of room uh, the other way now on the other side, I've got the outfit table. Uh, that was a, an add-on that I made a long time ago uh, because I wanted to have the extra storage on this side. Uh, that doubles up as the outfit table and also when I need more space to do finishing or uh, sanding while I'm, I'm working on my other bench, uh, this doubles up as that as well. So this is one of the oldest tools in my shop. This used to be my grandfather's uh, before me and my dad as well. And now that uh, they both passed away, I get to use it in my shop. Uh, I did have to do a bit of uh, setup before I was able to use it, but now I'm really happy that I can use it and it's still in the family. Uh, this is a six inch jointer made by General and that was made back east in Quebec. Now, although I had the miter saw on a contractor stand before, so I did have the miter saw, I didn't have the, the cabinets to go along with it. So this wall, if you look at previous video, was a pretty big mess. So I wanted to, once again, organize and stuff. And I used some reclaimed wood to, to finish the whole thing. I did get some three quarter inch plywood to do the cabinets, but I've got full extension slides on them cupboards so I can keep everything out of the dust and that drawer is pretty much everywhere so I have everything that was scattered pretty much everywhere is now has a, a place to sit uh, I did have a video on the first section of the build which was building the cabinets and I was planning on fit, making a second video on the actual uh, drawers and drawer fronts and, and such but uh, with uh, the, the new reality which is COVID-19 my wife is working from home and I have to take care of the little one most times uh, during the week and that allows me to come in sporadically in the shop furthermore like we share the tripod where the camera is on so I don't usually have the camera around so I won't be posting a second video a follow-up video on this but uh, on my Instagram, I was able to post a few feeds, so I invite you to check my Instagram at Tommy Hovington, where I post uh, pictures and videos of state of things as projects go along. Now, as far as the dimension to the miter saw station go, uh, I've got from here where the cutting blade is to the wall eight and a, eight and a half feet. And on the other side, I've got five feet that goes to the lathe. Hi, Rowan. Uh, um, I was saying it didn't go so well. I didn't listen, but I did a little bit. Wow, you made a fish? Yeah, it's a Wadara store of daisies. And then it's all beautiful. It's rainbows. It's rain All right, so like I was saying, um, 
those dimensions and then from here to here got 14 inches which is plenty of width since it's a 12 inch uh, miter saw I have a dust extraction that comes from here all the way to the bottom here uh, it does create uh, quite a bit of extra dust so I'm thinking I might add a hood uh, maybe and then put uh, some uh, an extra dust extraction onto it now in this area here I'm gonna store some wood so I've got some slabs that are drying here and I've got some uh, sides uh, for bending that are at the back those are mahogany that's a uh, curly maple there and I've got a few instruments that are started next here uh, so this corner is mostly uh, luthery stuff uh, I've got those two cabinets that I made uh, this one I made last year so in the last shop tour it was not uh, in here but this one was and I do have blueprints uh, on my website for this one for ten dollars Canadian if that's something that interests you um, so it's uh, based on the Gerstner style uh, tool chest, uh, machinist tool. I, I wanted to have a lot of small drawers because I've got a lot of small things for uh, Luthery. So that's the reason why I made this one. Plus I wanted to uh, kind of push my uh, building skills. Uh, this one was made out of reclaimed wood and I do have a video as well on that one, but mostly dunnage. And you can see like I was pretty lucky with the figure that I got on this one, uh, looks amazing. Now this one here is my main workbench. Uh, I have a storage here at the bottom, uh, vice here, quick release, and a few holes where I, I have uh, some pins that I can put in. Uh, this is one of my very first uh, woodworking kind of shop furniture project. A lot could be improved on this one, uh, but why like uh, it's doing the job it's uh it's not as heavy as i would like it to be but it is heavy enough to do what i need it to do so uh and i like how small it is i don't like to have like a huge uh workbench that takes heaps of space and uh so really happy with that that's a white oak top uh behind me here uh, that's where I edited the videos, uh, so screen, computer and such. Uh, I also have carpet on here because uh, I was going to use that for finishing, but I realized that I don't actually use that. So I might actually uh, diminish the size of this desk here and just redo the whole thing uh, with something different and remove the carpets. Uh, but that's something for the future. Uh, this workbench here is for uh, bench tools. So right now I've got my small uh, drill press. I've got my uh, drum sander. I also have my tool wall uh, where I keep my uh, wood planes and, and such and mallets, wood mallets. Uh, more storage here for uh, putting stuff and I've got covered doors at the bottom. Uh, got room for extra stuff if down the road I need more room here. Uh, once again, this was a reclaimed uh, top that was a, a top that I started uh, just to have something on here from uh, skids that I like a pallet wood project. But I ended up finding some nice uh, spalted oak uh, in it and I decided to uh, refinish it uh, once I moved here. So I do have a video on refining, refinishing this top because uh, it was all crooked and like the tools were wobbling on it so now I've got a nice surface to work on. So another addition uh, last year to my shop was this Jet 17 inch drill press, a floor standing drill press. Uh, I love this thing. Uh, I mean it, it's not the best one on the market obviously but it, it's uh, more than I need uh, for this shop. What the main thing I needed was to have uh, the distance here to the column, uh, 17 inch, is uh, more, well, it's actually exactly what I need. Uh, but really love this thing. Um, probably project down the road will make uh, a base for it so I can have a fence to work from and, and bolt it to this. Uh, but for now, I'm, I'm really happy on how I can use this thing.
Now down here I've got uh, my other old tool which is the sander, uh, just freehand stuff on here. That's where I have storage on the wall for clamps. I've got level ruler. Uh, that's what I use to cut my frets, uh, clamps and uh, shooting board. Now this tool here is by far the most used tool in my shop. Uh, this is the Jet 14 inch uh, bandsaw. Um, I just added the riser block and if it wasn't from the mail and uh, losing parts in the parcel and stuff, it would have been pretty much very easy to upgrade, but I had to go back and forth with the mail, with the supplier. Then in the States, it's really hard to get parts shipped for this tool for some reason. Uh, so anyway, I finally got it all set up. I've got a wood slicer blade on it right now because I did some uh, resawing uh, for uh, the miter station and I also did some resawing when I split a driftwood log uh, with very tight grain that I'll be able to use for soundboards. Uh, so, uh, but usually what I have is a 316 4 TPI blade on there so it allows me to do a lot of curves and a lot of uh, fine details on the instruments that I'm building. Now this is the Sandex 17 inch uh, drum sander. It's from CWI, which is Canadian Woodworking uh, International. Uh, I do get a lot of questions in regards to this one. Uh, if it still performs the way it's supposed to, uh, it's been what, like uh, four years, three or four years that I had this in the shop. Uh, so far, flawless. Uh, I would need better dust extraction, and as you can, you will see, my dust extraction is lacking a bit. Uh, there's a certain CFM that needs to come out of there, and uh, my dust extractor doesn't do it. So what I do uh, to accommodate for that is diminish this, the the feed speed, so it allows more of the dust to come out. But sometimes it becomes an issue because it piles up, and then it, it kind of binds on the roller. Uh, but other than that, uh, you need a 12, uh, a 20 amp uh, circuit, dedicated circuit for this tool because uh, it will pop your breaker. But other than that, it's, it works on 120. So, uh, great tool. Uh, beside here, I have the Launchbox 12 and a half planer, and I had that for over 12 years and still works great. The only maintenance is to change the blades. So, uh, yeah, great tool. So as you can see, my dust extractor is a bit of an oldie. Uh, it's an IMC Industrial. Um, I don't actually think that this is still in business, but I could be wrong. Um, I got this uh, equipment for a uh, dust extractor for $25 at a flea market. So uh, nothing very special. And that's why I was saying my dust extracting is a bit uh, lacking in regards to the dust extraction. So that's something I might be improving uh, sooner rather than later. Uh, but uh, overall, like it, it still picks up the chips and most of the stuff that I needed to do. So I'm still happy regardless with this tool. Uh, and for $25, can't really go wrong, right? Now in the same, uh Trend. This is the Dust FX CWI uh, air cleaner. Uh, it's got three speed uh, remote control, and this thing does a great job at keeping the air in my shop as clean as possible. And this is my uh, toolbox from when I was in the steel industry. Uh, I got all the tools I need to do steel fabrication. Um, up there, uh, you see I've got a heater for winter and I've got a mezzanine where I have tons of storage, so tools as well. So that's a go bar press for when I do my instruments. Uh, over there, uh, that's the log that I just uh, re-saw from uh, the beach. Uh, and then uh, that's another one that was yellow cedar. So all of those are going to be able to do uh, soundboards. And then uh, that's reclaimed wood and other types of wood that I've got uh, stored there. I've got some uh, cherry up there, I've got some oak, I've got some uh, fir at the bottom there, some uh, maple there, and uh, a lot of extra room at the top here for storage. 
So I really hope you enjoyed the tour and if you did, please consider subscribing. Uh, check the video playlist for anything that you'd be interested in regards to either uh, those toolbox, uh, the Mando Cello, this, this is a, a second one that I'm building right now, but uh, the complete build is up for the previous Mando Cello. I've got other instrument playlists that I've done, uh, I've got cutting boards, I've got, I've got a whole lot of things that might be interesting to you. So uh, consider subscribing, uh, leave a like and, and share this video. And until next time, I wish you well.